happy and grateful that since that is it is done, completely it is done. It and is. all her load were saved. He brought them, he started selling them. Daddy, this is Veronica Elijah. She's here to share what the Lord has done for her and how she was located during the night of receiving. Daddy, okay. she was picked during the night of receiving while she was seated at that other room site. Uh, 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 there. And, okay, uh, during the partners meeting? Yes, sir. Yes. During the partner. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Daddy, she has uh, had uh, an ailment. She has battled and it has been how tough on her. How many of you were around that day? Let me really know. Okay. What happened? Daddy, she's here to return the glory after that uh, prophecy that she received and the prayer she had. Her life has uh, experienced healing and that uh, she's gaining weight. She's, uh, she's she getting strength day by day. She's here to appreciate God. And so, so also to thank you for those powerful teaching that you've been always uh, giving us as your children. Said one of your son here uh, the sold the need and has sold an amount of money in her life which has gone a long way in assisting her in whatever care she needs to take care of herself. She's here to return all the glory to your God. Come on, clap your hands, somebody. The devil will not take your life so cheap in Jesus' name. You are protected, you are preserved. Come on, give Jesus a clap offering somebody. Here is uh, David Joel. He's here to give God the glory. Uh, he, he was diagnosed uh, some few months ago with a chronic kidney disease and uh, he has under, uh, undergoing a series of dialysis. Sometimes three times a week. Can we see your face up? Uh, sometimes three times uh, a week. And uh, he said while he was still in Yobi State, he asked his sister to rush down here and get the exosia oil and the exosia water. That he said, prior to his dialysis, he said the only time he finds it comfortable to sleep and uh, he doesn't feel pain is when the dialysis is going on. That's the time he will use, the few minutes and uh, probably an hour to just sleep off. Or immediately after the dialysis for a few minutes. Apart from that, he is always in pain. He got the exosia oil, he got the, uh, the exosia water, and it was sent to him in Yobe State, and uh, he ministered it to himself. For the very first time, he slept like a baby for seven uninterrupted hours. Seven. Seven hours. Give him the mic. Give him the mic. You couldn't sleep before. Yes. And you sent for all this material. Yes. You had faith in it. Yes. And you started sleeping. Yes, sir. Daddy is here to return the glory to your God. He said, Tell this. me, tell yes. me what, what, what is his ailment look like and uh, how, how this thing happened. This is so amazing because I know how people explain kidney problems to babies. Yes, Daddy, Daddy he, he cannot easily pass out urine by himself. And he find it difficult to pass enough that is required that is already in his blood. Uh, what in, is what is the changes that took place? What okay, the changes is because of the pain that he feels, he cannot sleep at all. He will be feeling pain all through the night, and uh, he will be restless. No sleeping in the day. No, no, no sleeping, sleeping in the, in the day. No sleeping whatsoever in the night. For like and how long has that been? For about for like three how long? For two months. Sir. Two months. Yes. But after you apply this material, you are able to sleep for seven hours. For seven good hours. So, you sent for this material. Where were you when you sent for this? I was in Damagum in Damaturu. In Damagum? Yes. Damaturu? Yes, sir. That's your best state? Yes, sir. And so you came to testify? Yes, sir. And I believe the big testimony is yet to come. Daddy, initially, he said, initially, the, within this period of two, ma two, uh, two months, there are times that uh, in a week you have to undergo three dialysis. But uh, he said, ever since he ministered, uh, he used the exosia oil, his health is beginning to, uh, beginning to be restored. And he said that the final testimony is coming back to come and share with us here. But he's here, he's here to say the sleep is indeed a miracle to him. When you sleep, put this on your chest. God that I serve will elongate your life. It is done. You will come here with no bondages. You will come here with nothing but only God to be glorified. Thank you, Jesus, for what you are doing. In Jesus' name. It's done. Ladies and gentlemen, believe in the Lord thy God, you shall be established. Believe in his prophet, you shall prosper. I am touched by this testimony. 
my spirit is standing upright just because of what God did in the life of this man. Believing at a distance, knowing that there's a solution. Let me tell you, prophets are your prophets. What you value in what God asks them to do. I wish those who fight the oil, those who fight what we do here, I wish they are hearing this to know. But I believe in my heart. One day, you will hear of the dead raised back to life just by using any of this material. Come on, clap your hand. Daddy is standing before us here is Inspector uh, Egyptil. He's here to give God the glory of what God has done in his life. Daddy he said he came here together with his wife during one of the counseling and that uh, 23rd uh, of, uh, of May uh, for counseling and uh, you picked him in the, in the, in the crowd while seated and uh, you told in him in the prophecy? Yes sir. Which week? On, on when is the 23rd sir? 23rd yes, of sir. May? Yes sir. I picked you by prophecy? Yes sir. After, uh, you, after you, you pick one person, two person, third one is me. You say you stood up. As I stood up you say I see Adamawa Adamawa. I say yes I am indigenous from, from Adamawa sir. You say there is an arrow from Adamawa is attacking you. I say, yes, sir. Presently, I'm sick now, sir. You say, yes. And you confirm that you are sick after I gave you the prophecy? I, I, I spent two, one month, two, two, two weeks in hospital, sir. Different oh, you hospital. are the man I was saying that yes. I said there was a day like you are passing out. Your life is going. Yes, sir. You say you for, you for don't die, but the, the, the grace of God is with you. That's how it is. People... People were, were looking at me all for, 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 that, day. For, that day for that day. Yes, sir. People were looking at me. Yes, sir. Still you ran. Still you. Daddy, he was uh, billed to uh, to go for a confirmatory test uh, to sh to go with the test that you he, he, he did. He was having this tingling sensation in, in his foot, and which is uh, a a a. a he, uh, he was presumed to, to be diagnosed with diabetes and uh, but he was told to go and uh, carry out uh, his uh, fasting blood sugar level to determine or to confirm that. He said that very particular day he rushed to the hospital and uh, he immediately he arrived there. He just gave his card. There were a lot of people that were there waiting to see the doctor. He just sat down. In a short while, in a just few minutes, his name was called. He was, ah, I just came about right now. I just submitted my card. I was thinking I would spend hours. And that was how the favor came in. The doctor went through the whole thing. He examined him. He looked at him. He said, I can't find anything. <laughs> Daddy, prior to that, he said he ministered the anointing oil upon himself. So when he went to the hospital, the, the doctor was just dumbfounded. He said he checked and checked and there was nothing. Give him the mic. The, the, the doctor said what? The doctor said what? He said there's nothing wrong with there is nothing. I know. I, I just, I just know God has done a great thing in his life. Yes, sir. My God. That he said his amazement was apart from the healing. He said he went. There were a lot of people. From the investigation to everything, it didn't take him 15 minutes. 15. And they didn't know him when he just came. But but how did he feel now? How do you feel in your body after the prayer? I'm, I'm feeling okay now. You are sir. feeling okay? Yes, I believe it. It's permanent. It's permanent. Thank you, sir. Thank you, you will return to your place of work perfect. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I the arrows is back to the center. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's done. Can I prophesy? Any demon that said you will die before this year round up, yes. you will see them dead. Amen. Any attack over your family, it is reversed in the name of Jesus. If your amen is louder, it is done. Bible say affliction shall not rise the second time. That's right. Whatever you have seen before, you will not see it like that again. Amen. I will see. Sit down, somebody. 
Mm. That is Esther is here to give God the glory. She said uh, she has been attending PowerPoint and one of the days you just gave a general prophecy. You said, I see people flooding the NGO. I release NGO job to so many of you. She said she submitted her CV to several different organizations and she said, I receive. And uh, she's here to return the glory. Right after she connected in a short while, she was called. And as we are talking right now, she's one of the staff in one of the non governmental organizations. Can we celebrate? Receive God? wherever you are. I release it again and again and again and again and again. Go and apply. Get ready for interview. It is done and it is done. Daddy Mark Plank Dangjuma is here to give God the glory staying in Joss. And she saw one of our friends coming down to my degree. And she has been hearing testimony about how uh, people are getting uh, employment with the non-governmental organization. So she came down here. You located her by prophecy during one of the service. You began to tell her things about her boyfriend. And I even told her things she didn't know. <laughs> so she was easy to confirm or she, was, she became confused. After the service, she went back. She called him. He said, this one and this one and this one. He said, ha, how do you know? I didn't tell you this. Say, it's my prophet. She's here to say, uh. all you said that day. She wasn't able to confirm everything, but she's standing here to say, it because of the information she has regarding him, what she was able to confirm here was because of what she knew. But immediately she went back. She called him and she confirmed. Everything you said is 100%, 100%. accurate. <laughs> I believe. What did I tell you, lady? Daddy, you said, when you pointed me out, immediately you came, you asked me who is Charity. I begin to wonder who is Charity. You said in the whole family, I said, yes, I have a cousin sister by name Charity. So you now asked me, is she married? I said, yes, she's married. You now said, you're seeing a uniform. You're seeing a uniform around me. I said, yes, my two elder brothers are uniform men. You said, you're still seeing another uniform again. I said, yes, my boyfriend is a military personnel who is serving in Meduguri here. So you now say that, yes, that you're seeing him. He's being denied of something. Yeah. That there's something that belongs to him. There's a position that belongs to him that you yeah. see that that position is being denied. <laughs> I said, yes, he told me that. But before then, I had a dream three days before the 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 prophetic uh, yes at least before the prophecy I had a dream that they gave me and him a car key this former boss that we should go and start up a commercial business so he now asked me what name are we going to use on the car and I said okay since my name is Mark Plank and your name is John why can't we use Mark Jones <laughs> <laughs> I said, why can't we use Mark Jones on the car? So he now said he said to Shortly after that, again, they gave us the key again that, we should, that that house, we should open the house. The way we enter inside, that like, if the house is okay by us, then the house is our own. When we open the house again, we now saw the same, the house was perfectly okay. So we now hug ourselves and said he said to So that very day, you said you saw an open door. That you saw an open door. You saw yeah. a miracle happening in my life and him. You said I should hold him tight. So when I go back, I called him to, to, to tell him about the prophecy. He says that, yes, you said, and that's thing again, you said that he's quiet sometimes to some issues. That sometimes I want him to talk, but, but he, he will just be quiet. Uh, and you said he has <laughs> experienced heartbreak. That he's finding it difficult to, to, to believe Indeed. or to trust any woman again. <laughs> you said sometimes he's quiet about issues. I know that he doesn't like me, that he's in love with me, but he's just being careful in doing things. So when I called him now, he now said yes, that everything you said is oh, perfect. you went and asked him all that I was telling you? Yeah, me, I, I, was, I was telling him, he said everything is perfect. He said that And I've never met him, right? No, you've we never have never met spoke. him. No. He I said, know, no Kululu, no Kalala. And he said that, yes, that is true, that everything you said is true. And he said that there's some things that he was keeping it to me as a woman. That is not everything that he wants to tell me. That in where he's serving in Mafa, is it Mafa? That there are positions that he's supposed to occupy. That, but they would tell him to get ready. He's going to, uh, that, uh, a, a, anyway. to take over a sector. But that <laughs> position is All right. Anyway, all I know, God is about to do big thing in your life. Amen. And I'm seeing you people established. Amen. Daddy, and he said something again. He said that he's five years in Meduguri, which they have released him, but he doesn't know what is delaying the release. They will tell him he will go today, tomorrow. This is six months now. So he says that he will wish to come and see you, but they will not nah. give him the chance that you should release him. I know, him, I know. He will see him. me. He will see me. Just tell him to come. I want to see him, yeah? I want to see him. So the prophecy continues. Thank you, sir.